Hi, I'm Stuart Wick of Nocturnal Media. Thank you for looking at my project for a new edition of Story Path Cards. This new edition will be the first publication of Story Path Cards since we first created them at White Wolf in 1990. Story Path Cards are a fun and easy to use accessory for virtually any tabletop role-playing game. The cards encourage and empower players to momentarily take charge of the story by adding new elements, introducing new motivations, or providing narrative or descriptive embellishments. As a result, the entire story becomes more collaborative. Story Path cards were born as whimsy cards at a small but influential game company called Lion Rampant. After Lion Rampant merged with White Wolf, our first products were two decks of Story Path cards. These decks, the Path of Horror and the Path of Entry. Now, I'd like to make new editions of The Path of Horror, The Path of Intrigue, plus add two brand new decks, Path of Hope and Path of Adventure. And to complete the circle, this project will also fund a new edition of Whimsy Cards, still adorned with a lion rampant. Story Path Cards are distributed to players at the beginning of a game session. Each card briefly describes a story element a player may add to the narrative. Play begins when the Game Master uses a theme card like Vast Unknown. The theme card has a number one on the card, and it sets the mood the Game Master wishes for the current game session. Imagine then that the players enter an enormous cavern. Suddenly, their light sources, both magical and mundane, blink out. From the vast unknown of the darkness, they hear crawling and croaking, and then one of the players reveals his Unnatural Silence card, a number two card that can continue the path created by the Game Master's theme card. The player adds to the narrative, describing how all the noise that had filled the cavern suddenly falls to silence. He plays this card next to the theme card to create a story path. This description might disrupt the Game Master's plans, but he's happy to see where the players may go with this new aspect of the story, and a dark and silent cave is certainly a vast unknown. The Game Master doesn't have to wait long because another player adds fleeting glimpse to the path. The player describes the scene and adds the card to the story path. She says that their light sources flicker back on for an instant, and the characters see rank upon rank of humanoid shapes quietly peering at the characters from the edges of the cavern. The Game Master agrees adding that the humanoids are reptilian, and so connects to an element of the story that he had intended to introduce anyway. Later, after the characters have not discovered anything more about the mysterious lizard man, another player adds Unknown Lurker, a number four card, to the story path. The player indicates that one of the reptilian beings is following the characters through the caves and tunnels. Working in an element earlier introduced by a player, the Game Master adds that the character's light sources again fade whenever the characters turn to look for the lizard. It's something the Game Master thinks of on the fly because of the earlier player's narration. Perhaps now one of the players will pick up on this element of the story path. From here, depending on the cards the players hold and the ideas they wish to share, the path could go in many different directions. Maybe a player will bring this current path to an end by playing Unforeseen Calamity, a number five card that is also a climax card. Or here, perhaps a player will add Horrifying Discovery, a number five card, that then leads to another player revealing the climax card Abduction that surely has something to do with those sneaky lizards. Or, after Horrifying Discovery, the number six card Disfigurement might allow a player an opportunity to reveal a number seven card a climax card that is the highest number in the deck and therefore opens the door to something that more overtly benefits the players. In this case, the player has newfound escape. The names of the cards alone suggest all sorts of story elements that players might add to the story. After a climax card is played, the current path ends and the GM may start a new path by playing a new theme card. I hope you'll support my project for a new edition of Story Path Cards. Granting narrative power to the players is an element of role-playing games that has become ever more prominent, especially over the last decade. Thank you very much for your consideration and support.